Have you ever wondered why your phone feels slower than it used to? Or why does your battery die by mid-afternoon, even though you barely used it? It might not be your apps, or your phone's age. There are hidden settings inside your Android device quietly draining power, logging activity, and collecting data without asking for your permission. Let's fix that. There are three critical settings you need to change. Not tomorrow, not next week, right now. Before we dive in, here's a quick question. Have you ever heard of developer options? Most people haven't, and that's on purpose. It's a hidden menu inside every Android phone. Not because it's dangerous, but because it's packed with advanced tools that phone manufacturers don't expect regular users to touch. But you're about to. Don't worry, there's no hacking or coding, just a few taps. And the payoff? Smoother performance, better battery life, and less data quietly leaking from your phone in the background. Let's start with unlocking developer options. Go to your phone's settings. Scroll all the way down and tap on About Phone or Phone Option. See where it says Build Number? Tap it seven times. <laughs> yes, seven. You'll see a message that says, you're now a developer. Congratulations, you've just unlocked the most powerful menu your phone has been hiding. Now here's where it gets interesting. Go to the system and find developer options. Here, inside developer options, there's a setting called logger buffer size. Sounds technical, right? But here's what it does. Your phone constantly writes system logs in the background. It's like a diary of every little thing your phone does, from which app opened to when the screen turned off. Helpful for developers, useless for you. And it eats battery. By increasing the buffer size, try 8 megabytes, you tell your phone to stop writing logs every 2 seconds. That reduces how often it hits your storage, which means less battery drain, less heat, and better overall speed. But we're not done yet. There's another setting that's quietly collecting even more information, system tracing. System tracing is like your phone's black box. It records detailed data about every single app, process, and tap. Again, great for engineers. Awful for battery and potentially sketchy when it comes to privacy. You want to find the system tracing section in developer options. Inside, turn off two switches, trace debuggable applications and record trace. Then click into Categories. You'll see a list of system features your phone might be tracking. Deselect everything. The only one you should leave on? Power management. Why? Because it's the one thing that might help your phone run better, not worse. You've just cut off two major sources of hidden data collection and resource drain. But now, you might be wondering, will this break anything? That's a fair question. Here's the answer. No, it won't. These settings don't affect how you use your apps, how you text, call, scroll, or play. They simply silence the background noise your phone was creating for no good reason. What you'll notice instead is subtle, but real. Your battery? It lasts longer. Your phone? It feels snappier, less lag. And if you care about privacy, <laughs> you just shut down two of the biggest passive data collection tools that Android devices run by default. Here's the part that most people get wrong. They think battery drain comes from having too many apps open, or not using dark mode, or forgetting to close Chrome tabs. That stuff helps, sure. But the biggest performance leaks come from things running in the background, the stuff you don't see. And until you know where to look, your phone keeps doing it. So now that you know, are you going to leave those settings running? Didn't think so. If you're watching this and wondering whether changing these settings could void your warranty or brick your phone, here's the honest answer. They won't. These features are there for testing and diagnostics. Turning them off doesn't make your phone unstable, it actually makes it quieter, calmer, more focused, exactly how it should be. Now one more thing before you go. If you've made these changes and your phone already feels better, that's great, but don't stop here. Your phone has even more hidden switches that can give you control, if you know where to look. But for now, take a moment to feel good. Because most people never bother to check these things. You just made your device faster, smarter, and safer with just a few taps. Feels good, doesn't it?